welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, my name is Erica. And today, <clears throat> I want to talk a bit about a, a video that the YouTuber Sloan recently made. So if you don't know who Sloan is, I don't think I've talked about him on my channel yet. But he's basically, he does a lot of videos on exposing celebrities, like people who do bad things, or SA people, or people who have like a sketchy past that people may not know about, or even if people do know about, they may not know the full story. So I found Sloan, not that this really has any relevance to the video, I'm just adding it in just because I feel like it, but I found Sloan's channel on on some videos about the Nickelodeon, I think he was a producer, Dan S Snyder. He did a lot of really bad things at Nickelodeon, allegedly. I don't want to be sued, so I do have to say uh, allegedly, but he allegedly harmed a lot of the child stars in the 90s and early 2000s, which was when I watched a lot of Nickelodeon. So I just find that all so interesting because, like, I had no idea when I was, like, when I was, like, three years old watching the Amanda show or when I was, like, ten years old watching Victorious. Like, I had no idea this all was going on, so I found his videos on Dan Snyder to be very informative and very interesting. But recently, Sloan made a video about the comedian and actor Jim Harry, and more specifically, his relationship with his late girlfriend, Katriana White. Now, I had never heard this story before. She, she unalived herself using uh, allegedly pills that were prescribed to Jim Harry. But my issue with Sloan's coverage of this, which I noticed, I read a lot of the comments uh, on this video, but it came up cross as Sloan was almost blaming Jim Carrey for his girlfriend's death. As somebody who has struggled with S ideation and that kind of stuff in the past, it is nobody else's fault. He it is so unfair to blame somebody for that. That's really disgusting and it has the potential to harm a lot of people. Say if if somebody is in a toxic relationship and their partner threatens to unalive themselves if if the other person leaves them and then they leave them to get out of this toxic relationship and to better their life. And then the person unalives themselves. It's nobody else's fault if somebody unalives themselves. And I don't know if Sloan intended for the video to come across crossed that way or if it was just like by accident or he wasn't really thinking about it in that way but it just came across as really insensitive and really just setting this I don't want to say standard or, or precedent because you know, I don't think that's the proper word for this but it's 
it's like normalizing a culture where you blame other people for things because at least from what Sloan said, Adriana unalived herself while Jim and her were on like a break from their relationship and he knew she struggled with S word ideation in the past so he should have known. No. And, and, and talk about what led Catriona to taking her own life because again, part of this is Jim's fault. Catriona told her friend Denise Bradshaw that her relationship with Jim Carrey was a roller coaster. She was madly in love with him, but she grew depressed whenever she felt him slipping away. Jim broke up with her on September 24th, 2015, just days before she passed away, or at least when her body was found. And she was really going through it during this breakup. Like she did not know how to handle. But as Trust me, I'm not white knighting for Jim Harry. I think there's a lot to be said about his anti-vax kind of shit and just he's just not in my in my opinion he's not a good person i'll be the first to admit that i'm not a big fan of jim carrey because of a lot of his behavior in the public but i'm not going to blame him for his her her girlfriend unaliving herself because that isn't fair it's not fair to tell somebody you have to stay with this person because they're struggling mentally and if you leave this person and they and they die by s word then it's your fault because you should have never left them it, it, to me that's a very heavy topic and it's something that you really need to handle with care and watch the words you use. Be I was doing research on this story. I found an interesting pattern that Jim does everything in his power to make himself look good. At every corner, he just like switches the narrative to try to make it seem like he is not at fault here. Jim Carrey told TMZ on September 19th that they went to a birthday dinner at Nobu in Malibu and that she was super happy then. But then he ended up breaking up with her a few days later on September forth but he told tmz and again this is like the the him trying to switch up the narrative that he wasn't going to completely break up with her he didn't want to sever the relationship completely he just kind of needed a break so he's trying to soften the blow and make it seem like he didn't just go and break up with her like a cold-hearted bastard but i have a feeling that jim knew exactly what he was doing and that she was capable of taking her own life over this breakup it's like he almost set her up to do so because it has the potential to harm so many people and it is a personal issue for so many people so many people know somebody who did who did that or know somebody who like was toxic and would threaten people to do that so i think that's such a dangerous message to be putting a, a cross on your platform and I'm not doing this to hate on Sloan or to shade him or be like cancel him. I I'm doing this because as somebody who this is a very personal topic to me, I did not like his coverage of it. I thought it was irresponsible. I thought that it was inappropriate for him to make that video, especially in the way he did with the way he framed it and why he thinks Jim Carrey is a bad guy because of that whole situation. Because ultimately it's not Jim Carrey's responsibility, even if the relationship was toxic, even if they were his pills. It's just like, I, I don't know. I just think it's really harmful to be telling people that if you know somebody who's struggling and you leave them or if you have to end the, the friendship or or whatever, if you don't appease them and then they 
unalive themselves that it's your fault. That's really not good. And it's not only is it not good, but it's not true. You are not responsible for what somebody else does. And if they're threatening that, then honestly, you should probably leave them because they need to get help. But it's it's not your responsibility to save somebody in that way, if that makes any sense. Like, you're not their, their therapist. So yeah, I know it was a pretty short video and it's just because I saw this and it it really concerned me and I, I, I was disappointed to see this framed in such a way by Sloan because I feel like he should know better because he does talk about mental health on his channel. But I mean, we all make mistakes. We all have a bad take at some point. But I just wanted to upload this video just to share my opinion and to tell people that if something similar happened to you, that it is not your fault. Don't let people tell you that it is. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something or if this resonated with you, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already and you would like to see more of my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye.